Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and in today's video my mom is making a beautiful pastel resin tray which she turns into a bowl. She'll be using craft resin and if you'd like to see how she mixes the resin together you can find it in my last video where she made a set of pastel resin coasters which goes along with this tray. I'll leave that video linked above if you'd like to check it out and I'll have a discount code to craft resin in my description. After her resin is mixed well, she separated it into smaller cups to add in her pigments. And she starts off by using Casting Crafts white pigment. She shakes it well before she adds some into the four cups on the top. For her pink, she's using Just Resins pigment paste in the shade Dusty Pink. Then she adds in J. Diction's transparent pigment in the shade Lemon Yellow. In her next cup, she adds in Pebio's transparent pigment in the shade Chartouse, followed by J. Diction's blue transparent pigment. And she mixes that all together. And these are pretty much all of the same pigments that she used with her coasters. For the cups near the bottom, she'll be mixing in all mica powders and she starts off with this beautiful pink shade of mica powder, followed by apple green mica powder. Then she uses J. Diction's mica powder in the shade lemon yellow, followed by this beautiful light blue mica powder. And again, she makes sure that each cup is mixed well. Once all of her pigments are mixed in, she starts by pouring clear resin into her mold. She then uses a mixing stick to help push the resin to the edges of the mold and make sure that it's covered the whole area. And as always, she uses a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and she's moving it very quickly not to damage her mold or her resin. Now she's ready to start pouring in her pigmented resins and she starts off with her pink pigmented resin. And she pours in a feather-like motion and rotates between her pigmented resins. She adds in a mixture of small pearl beads along with glitter to be the center detail. She makes some adjustments using her wooden stick to drag some of the resin from the outer edges inwards.
and here she is demolding the next day. She's going to be turning this tray into a bowl, so for this you'll want to demold a little bit earlier than you would usually. This time will depend on the resin that you're using and the amount of time that it needs to harden, but this can generally be around the 8 hour mark. She's using a pan to shape it into a bowl. She carefully pushes it down. Then places her silicone mold on top. And adds on some items with weight to make sure that it stays put. And here she is the next day, removing it from the pan. We used a gold adding marker to add a gold trim. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.